Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher, Flip's third grade math. We're going to be using the Math Expressions book. You know, one lesson for it is customary units of weight and metric units of mass. And that covers the common core math of measurement and data. Um, objective number two, which, sol which indicates that we solve problems involving measurement and estimation of intervals of time, liquid volumes, and masses of objects. So we'll be concentrating on the mass of objects. And as we measure, we're going to find the mass because gravity is pulling us towards Earth. Well, let's see what gravity pulls us towards today. Remember, as you start up, you need to tell me what, when, where, and who you saw this video with. Sum up what you saw, any burning questions that you have, or questions that you can share with your uh, peer group. Remember to write those down as you go. Well, today, we're going to be looking at a couple things before we get started. This mega math will be on the website under math practice and it's Tiny's Think Tank. You're going to be able to test your math skills on these squares. The other thing I wanted to show you is this uh, iTools. Go to the menu and then you hit measurement. You'll be able to uh, go over some activities that involve measurement. If you notice right here it's uh, seeing how many how many bears equal a box of raisins. Well you can also do some other activities, equivalent measures, clocks, calendar and money. This will also be one of the items that's available on the website under math practices. This site, let's get started with a piece of string. Pablo cut string into four equal pieces. Then he cut each piece in half. Now each piece is a two inch length. What was the length of the whole string? I'm using this table to show four equal pieces. He cut each of those in half. One, two, three, four. Now each piece is a two inch length. What was the length of the whole string? So we can actually go two, four, six, eight, ten. What's the answer? There's the answer. And 16 inches. So 16 inches was the total length of the whole string. Let's get started. Let's find out what it means between customary units of weight and metric units. What's the difference between the two? Because how much do I weigh? Well, not me. How much do you weigh? How do we weigh ourselves? How do we measure things? Here we got two ways of measuring. We're going to concentrate on the ounces versus pounds and tons first, and then we'll talk about metric. Let's look at some of these tools. We can measure with, that's called a spring weight. There's one you can see sometimes at the grocery store as you measure food. There's one you measure with your uh, in the bathroom, bathroom scale. And then there's this kind of scale. All those are scales, and you probably can think of some other scales that we use in, in our daily lives. Let's concentrate on 16 ounces. 16 ounces equals 1 pound. 1 pound equals 16 ounces. One ounce equals one sixteenth of a pound. One ton equals two thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds. What objects can you think of that weigh about one pound? What objects can you think of that weigh about one ounce? Go ahead and think of uh, two or three items that, that you can think of that weigh either a pound or an ounce. What is measured when we me when we weigh something? When we just put that apple on, what are we measuring? Right, we want to know how heavy the object is. And what tool do we use to measure it? Right now we're putting two apples on there and it's kind of heavy. Versus if we put a, a small cube on there, it's probably pretty light compared to that apple. When we use a balance scale in the classroom, we can uh, one pound is about the size of a football. These ten pennies equal about one ounce. If this was virtual, I'd be able to show you that we'd have to have a lot of pennies to equal that one football. Guess which is the correct weight? That hammer. If we know 10 pennies equals one ounce, is that going to be an ounce? Try another one it says. How about one kilogram? Good job! So one hammer equals one kilogram. Let's try these quarters. Pounds? Try another one it says. Grams? Good job! Now this one's not going to be a pound. Could be an ounce. It could be a gram. But it's definitely not a kilogram or, or a pound. So let's try gram. Good job! So a gram's a little bit smaller than an ounce. Now let's move on to kilograms. 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. So if we looked at a stamp, 
what do you think it would be? Exactly, one gram. Watermelon, though, on the other hand, would be kilograms, because one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And so you have to be aware that pounds versus grams, is, there's a different... It may help you to know that one kilogram, 1,000 grams, is equal to a little more than two pounds. So it'd be one kilogram would be two footballs. Here's another example. Here we have a paper clip, which would be about one gram, and one sneaker, which would be about one kilogram. Which metric unit of mass is greater? A gram or a kilogram? Exactly, one kilogram. Let's look at the problem now that we can understand one kilogram versus one gram. Zach wants to buy 900 grams of pumpkin seeds. He loves pumpkin seeds. Well, the scale shows only, the scale that he puts these seeds on only shows 400 grams. How many more grams does he need? So right now he's got 400 grams and he wants 900 grams. Can you find 900 grams on here? There it is. He has to have how much more to be able to make that. Two ways you can do that, you can make it an add problem. 400 plus something equals 900. Or what's another way you can do it? Good. 900 minus 400. So you can actually do it a number of ways to be able to find out the answer. What's the answer? Yeah, he needs 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 grams, 500 more grams of pumpkin seeds. 500 more grams. Next problem. Selma filled each bag, each of three bags, with five ounces of her favorite nuts. So she has three bags, and she fills them up with almonds, walnuts, peanuts, and hazelnuts, and pralines, or some other nuts. How many ounces of nuts did she use altogether? If there's five ounces, how much did she use? With one bag, it was one, two, three, four, five ounces. But she had three bags. Can we count by fives? Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many of you think that's the answer? Fifteen ounces. And there's how you can do it. Five, ten, fifteen. One more problem. This time, Puzzled Penguin, he's always getting things backwards, isn't he? Let's see if he got this one right. Today I had to solve this problem. Toby bought three bags of chips. Each bag of chips weighs 50 grams. What is the weight of all three bags of chips? So he's got three bags of chips. Here's how he solved it. 50 plus 3. 50 plus 1, 2, 3. Did he get the right answer? 53 grams? Why not? What did he do wrong? And how do you know him? his answer's wrong because he did the wrong operation. He should have done 50 times 3. Oh, this is using a multiple of 10. Think you can do that? Hide that 0. 5 times 3 equals 15. Then bring this 0 back. 150. Let's check your answer. Our answer is the weight of all three bags of chips is 150 grams. You chose the wrong operation to solve the problem, P Mr. Puzzled Penguin. I know your answer of 53 grams is wrong because there are three equal groups of 50. 50, 50, and 50. And you can multiply 50 times 3 to find the correct answer. Let's see if you guys know your vocabulary. Words you need to know for pounds and ounces. So let's look at weight first. Weight is the measure of how heavy something is. I would write that down because then you can uh, use that later. Let's look up pound. P-O-A, there it is, pound. That LB is important because it's the abbreviation for pound. A customary unit used to measure weight. One pound equals 16 ounces. Octagon, odd number, opposite order, ounce. Ounce, O-Z, is a customary unit used to measure weight. 16 ounces equals one pound. Ounces and pounds. Which one do you think is in ounces? An eraser? What about a book? Pounds. A calculator? Pounds? Nope. Going under ounces. A pack of paper? Eh, it could be ounces, but it's closer to pounds. Now let's check to see if you have the other, the metric side of measuring weight and mass. 
metric doesn't weigh weight it weighs mass it weighs the amount of matter in an object grams r grams gallons grams abbreviation for grams g and let's check gram a metric unit of mass one paper clip has a mass of about one gram let's check kilogram kilogram look there's the abbreviation kg a metric unit metric unit of mass is one kilogram that equals one thousand grams hopefully you wrote those three things down so you can know what they are it's always good to know vocabulary let's check to see if you have grams versus kilograms well this is a review look around your classroom and see if you can find some things that are grams 10 grams 25 grams and 100 grams one gram a shape, a crayon, and a calculator. I told you to uh, get some objects that would uh, go on a list of three for ounces and three for pounds. See if you can do the same for grams versus kilograms. Now a final assessment. Let's see if you have this down. In which instance would you use pounds? Measuring the length of your desk, measuring the height of a person, measuring the capacity of a pond, or measuring the weight of a person. A, B, C, or D. You got it right. How many ounces are in two and a half pounds? I know 16 plus 16. It has to be 36, right? <gasps> it's not 36 ounces? Ooh, think again. I know 16 is one pound, 32 is two pounds. I'll go with D. Yep, there it is. Question number three. How many kilograms equals 30,000 grams? 30 or 300? B or D, B or D or B or D. You say D? You got it correct. Good job. And last question. How many kilograms are in two and a half tons? Ooh, if I guess I might get it wrong. But I know two, about two and a half pounds is one, one kilogram. Let's go with 250. 2,500 kilograms are, two, are in two and a half tons. Good job. And that brings us to the end. Okay, to end today's lesson, I'd like you to estimate the weight of each object. And I've given you eight problems to do. And I think you can be able to do that on your own. And what you do is uh, draw the object and write either 100 grams or 100 tons. Or 15 ounces or 15 pounds. And just write, draw the eight objects and put what the each of them equal. To end today's lesson, I found these two to go along with uh, Sunday snow. Cool, it's snowing! Is that it? And I like this one. Snow, 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 snow. Hopefully we do get snow here in the next little bit. Anyway, thank you. Good night.